Do you remember the Crane minigame from Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy? This minigame is partially made possible by an interesting hardware quirk of the original Game Boy. All sprites in Super Mario Land 2 are made up of 8x8 pixel sized objects called... objects. If two objects overlap each other, what do you think will happen? Well, it turns out the object with the lower x value gets drawn on top. This can lead to some weird sprite priority issues in some parts of the game, but it's actually used intentionally as a visual effect in the crane game. Each power-up that Mario can win is two objects wide, but the crane hand is only one. By placing the crane hand between the two objects of the successfully hooked power-up, the left portion of the hand gets obscured by the power-up's left half, and the right half of the hand is drawn on top of the right half of the power-up, giving it the feeling that the crane hand is pinching the power-up to lift it up without needing to draw a separate sprite for each possible outcome of the minigame. 